This opening works out for you. I see. All right, listen, you want to play F6, you can do whatever you want. I'm just telling you not to play F6. Oh, terrific. Look at that. Now you're better. Why is black better? Exactly because of last game. All right, black is better because black has more development. I don't know what white is doing. White is letting black play white. It's what, I mean, it's knight c3. Good move. D5. So D5, okay, for this level, D5 is a great move. It's actually a bad move. Why is D5 a bad move? Can anybody explain this to me? Why is D5 bad? Why is it plus 1.4? And here it's minus... 0.5. What is wrong with this move? Weak light square. No. This is what you think. No. Block bishop and weakens the dark squares. And after d4, very natural response, this is going to be what's called a backwards pawn, meaning it cannot go up. It will be permanently stuck behind a pawn and not guarded by a pawn, which means this pawn will be beaten up for the entire game. That rook will pressure it. Everything will pressure it. You need to avoid this stuff. Play a move like e6. Keep your structure flexible. The second you play d5, you're in trouble. Here's another way to avoid having a backwards pawn. e5. Now, it's very powerful. You need your pawns to support each other. No pawn left behind. This is not a good move, but white is trash. Also, if you can block this check with a pawn, it's almost always going to be the best move. If you can block with a pawn and attack the bishop, it's almost always the best move. This is not a good move.